Hey, it's Bill Stebbins from BillStebbins.com and TheSimulcast.com. Uh, this is a quick video to show you how to use a Bluetooth PS3 controller with your Nexus 7 or other Android devices if you like. Um, people have been asking me how to do this. It's fairly simple to set up, but I thought I'd run through the process of it. Um, in order to do this and only do it with your tablet or your phone, and the controller, you're also going to need a USB on the go cable. Let's go ahead and grab one of those from Amazon. It's called a USB on the go. It lets you plug in a USB device to your tablet or your phone. Uh, in this case, we're going to be syncing our Bluetooth controller, which is the PS3 controller, to this. So first, what you're going to need to do is get an app. It's called Six Axis Control and I've already downloaded it so we're going to go here to 6-axis control okay what you're going to want to do is first you're going to plug this in you're going to need in this case a mini USB cable as well I'm going to plug that in alright so we're going to plug this into the Nexus it plugs in just like your controller cable would or I'm sorry your charging cable I'm going to plug this in into the PS3 controller. What we need to do first is pair the Bluetooth controller, in this case this, to our Nexus 7. So where we're going to hit pair controller, what it does is it reads the Bluetooth information off of here and then it reads it off of the Nexus 7 and it programs that in here so that our Nexus 7 is the master. So yes we want to let it have that and it master address updated. Okay, so that's fairly simple, straightforward, right? You can go ahead and unplug both of these. That's all you need for that. All right, there's another way to pair that. You have to pair this first. There's another way to do it, but it involves using your PC. And quite frankly, if you're running a honeycomb or later device, there's really not a reason not to just go ahead and do it on there. Um, the dev has instructions on how to do it the long way. Uh, you only need to do the, that the one time. Now we're plugged up. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to show you how to use this with a con this as a native controller, so only as a like a game like Shadow Gun or Dead Trigger, because you don't have to worry about all the touch profiles or any of that. They support Bluetooth controllers natively. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Start. Down here, you're going to see that it's looking for my device, so I hit the PlayStation button and it vibrated and client one is connected. Okay, this is important. So in here you need to go into preferences first under gamepad settings. See where that says enable gamepad? Android will see connected controllers as native gamepads and you want that to be checked. Alright, so that's all you need to worry about in there. Make sure that we're still running. We're going to go here to dead trigger. Okay, now my controller is already set up, but here's how you set it up if you have it. When you go in here, after you've set that as a native controller through 6 axis, you're going to see customize gamepad. You can go in here and you can set all the buttons. So you tap whichever one you want to set and then you squeeze the trigger. So to set fire or use, I hit that, squeeze my trigger, and it sets that. And then when you get all those set, hit save and exit. And that's pretty much it. So now we can go in here. And we can play dead trigger with the PS3 controller. Okay, and as you can see I'm using my controls. Um, in my case I play inverted so I had to change that setting. And there we go. So hopefully that was helpful for you. When you're done, all you want to do is you want to go back in here to 6-axis control 
hit stop and as you can see once it unpairs the Bluetooth it will turn the controller off for you. Now there is a way to use games that don't natively support a controller such as uh, Nova 3 uh, but you have to do some touch profiles and that's a little more advanced than this video. So um, if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments I will be glad to reply to you and subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks for watching.